This little book called Plays Place in Public Education. It says, this is, it's just a series of essays, and one of them says, it, perhaps in no other area of human concern is the paradoxical relationship between risk-taking and being at risk so apparent as it is in language literacy development. Research about literacy processes it, makes it clear that risk-taking is a fundamental prerequisite for fluent reading. Children who are afraid to risk rarely become fluent readers. Children who are afraid to risk rarely become fluent readers because they don't, they're not adventuresome enough and you don't send kids to school at six and say, take a risk. It's got to be built in. And what there needs to be more than anything, I've decided, is an illusion of risk. We have wonderful things for our kids to climb on. We have a three-story fort. Lots of people have been there. We've got a glider that you sit on and you sail 60 feet across the yard. And there's a big spring at the, at the, at the end. Now, it's only this far from the ground. But when you're heading down there, it really is an enormous risk. There's an illusion of risk. I'm the only person who's ever fallen off of it, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> What happens to kids is the forced attention to an intricate set of unreliable and confusing rules takes precedence over the natural tendencies to explore with language and to play with print. The other condition for self-esteem I want you to think about passionately is a sense of belonging. And when kids do art and people do art, there's a sense that they belong. It's a welcoming kind of thing. That's a really important philosophy. Self-awareness. Kids don't know that much about themselves. The more they do and they feel successful at it and they feel challenged, the more apt they are to come back and do it again and to try again and to grow. Cognitive. Art is closer to basic learning than anything. Art is basic science, basic math, basic everything. I don't think about those things. I think more about this, the self. And then the opportunity to express yourself in a positive way.